Right, these are the filter housings that I've got. They've got one inch ports in and out, and they take a 10 inch filter. Obviously they're designed for water, but I'm going to be using them for the veg oil filtering. And then I've got these one inch male to 22 mil compression fittings that I'm going to be putting in both sides and then run some 22 mil pipe between each filter and then obviously in and out of the other end. So I'll get all these fittings put in now and then we'll work on the piping. Alright, so I've got all the fittings fitted now. Uh, I put some PTFE tape on all of them, put them in and then cut three pieces of pipe at 60 mil long and then just give them a quick wire wheel to make them shiny. So the idea is connect them you know, one after the other, uh, all with different micron filters in. So I think it's going to be 25, 10, 5 and 1. And then obviously once it's been through all that, it'll be going straight into the holding tank, which is where it'll get mixed with diesel, because uh, I'm just going to run it 50-50 at the minute, um, just while it's cold, and then maybe increase the percentage once it gets warmer. So for now, I'm just going to put these olives on each side, fit fit a pipe between each one, and then I've got some brackets which should hold it on th these three pipes, but if they're too heavy then I'm going to have to make some brackets to go on top of the actual filter housings in these four holes for each one. Hopefully it doesn't come to that, but we'll see. Right, I've fitted all the pipe now, all three of them, um, they're all snug down. And then I made a bit of a, a pipe with an elbow on the end here for where it goes into the holding tank. And then this end will probably just be a straight pipe straight from the heating tank. Right, so I've put the mounting brackets on now, as you can see. These are the mounting brackets I'm going to use. You can get to both screw holes with it already fitted. Only problem is these filter housings stick out too far so I'm going to have to mount these on some sort of plinth and then mount that to the wall or mount it to the wall first and then mount this to the plinth so it's no big deal just have to make sure it's strong enough because obviously there's going to be the weight's going to be further away from the wall so it's going to have more leverage on it um, like I was saying about this I've just left it loose for now so I can position it once it's all mounted up but that is the filtering setup basically done. Obviously I need to put the filters in, but besides that, that, that is how it's going to be. I know other people say use, use a centrifuge, well I've already bought this now. So this is the filtering setup. The holding tank's already been done off camera because uh, I did that before I decided to film it. So it's all basically done now, it just needs plumbing, the electrics and obviously mounting on the wall and then we can start filtering.